Okay, so um, today um, you're going to do efficiency, which is what is the efficiency of this machine? In other words, how much of the energy is actually getting used to lift it and whatnot? So if you have a 100% efficiency, that means all the energy you do to pulling on this is going into lifting the weight. If it's 90% efficient, that means 90% of all the energy you're using to push is lifting the weight. The other 10% is going to heat, uh, squeakiness, uh, friction and stuff like that. Uh, so um, the you just need two things, the IMA and the AMA, which you should have already done. So if you're looking for the IMA of this and we take this weight, so if we take this weight and I have it here, oops. And so I take this weight here and I pull right here, let's say right here on this hole right here. Then if you look at the holes, and you're counting, let's say you count, there's holes on top and holes on the side. So let's say you count from the middle and we go, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 holes. So 14 holes is the distance of the resistance. And then we'll go ahead and write that in. And actually I'll write this down in a second. And then if we look at the other side, where am I gonna pull? Let's say I pull right here on this hole right here on top. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 14 and 15. So if you look and we uh, do this real quick, I have a pen here. Um, to find out the IMA, you just take distance of effort divided by distance of resistance. And uh, it's uh, 15 divided by 14. And if you just bring out a calculator real quick. And we go 14 divided by 15. You can measure these in inch. Uh, oops, no, it's 15 divided by 14. Let me clear that out. 15 divided by 14. And it's 1.07, 1.07. So 1.07 is my uh, efficiency here. I'm not my efficiency, sorry, that's just the IMA, the ideal mechanical advantage. What is it actually? Well, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this weight and I'm gonna measure it. And I'm getting just over eight. Is that eight? Yeah, that's 10, that's nine, no. Yeah, that's eight. That's four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, so I'm getting like mm, just over eight, maybe nine. So I'm getting about nine on this scale. And it doesn't matter the unit, just like before, it doesn't matter the unit. On the distances, you can measure by holes, by inches, whatever. This one I'm using, I think it's ounces or something like that on this side. So I'm measuring about nine. And then I have to actually hang it here. And then I have to pull down where I said I was gonna pull down where I measured from. And then I gotta measure how hard I'm pulling down. For that, I'm gonna have to kind of put this up to the light again. And it looks like it's closer to eight. It's like, it's actually like we're almost like between the eight and the nine. Uh, so, so if we go here again, the actual mechanical advantage is by forces. We take the force of the resistance. Remember the E and the R's are opposite on the AMA and the force of the effort. So this is how hard was the weight pulling down. And it looked like it was about a nine to me, like nine ounces or something. And effort, when I pulled down, it was closer to like eight. It was probably eight and a half or something, but I'm not sure. But so there's gonna be a lot of errors here. So, which means you might actually end up with over 100% efficiency, which is impossible, but um, just with all our errors, that's just gonna happen. So um, I'm gonna do my calculations here and I get nine divided by eight. And I'm getting 1.125, 1.125, that's a point. Uh, that's the actual mechanical advantage. So when you have to figure efficiency, and that's what we're doing today, we just take AMA 
and divide it by IMA and times it by 100 because it's a percent. So in other words, you would take AMA 1.125 divided by 1.07 and times it by 100. So we, I am going to get over 100% efficiency, but that's because uh, some errors because my machines are not super accurate. If we have super accurate machines like we do at school, we have like digital ones and stuff that hook to a computer, it's going to come out much more accurate. So uh, let's put this in 1.125 on the top divided by 1.07 on the bottom and then times that by 100 and our efficiency is 105 percent which is impossible and there's a lot of talk I can explain why we get this error but the main reason today is definitely error, rounding error uh, it was like an eight and a nine and it was like fluctuating somewhere in between I wish I knew the exact amounts like 8.2 8.3 8.4 then we would have gotten like a number probably like in the 97 which these machines are really efficient so they're like near 100 so they're probably the real number is probably like 97 but if you get like what I got you're totally cool it just means that you have a rounding error or just it's like an error of like not being able to read the exact amount of force. Uh, putting a sticker on it, the sticker it came with helps a little bit. So if you want to use that, it's a little brighter too. So it comes with a sticker and it's measured in Newtons instead. Uh, that one helps a little bit. But this is pretty much how you find it. This is the equation of the day, efficiency, and you just take the AMA and the IMA. So the IMA, just figure out the distance from the center, uh, from the center to where you're, what, to your pulling and the distance to where the weight is. And then you take those two distances in inches, centimeters, just count holes, whatever you want and get the number. AMA, you're taking the force of the resistance, how heavy is that weight just by itself on the side. And then when you pull the lever on the other side, how hard are you pulling? Uh, and this could be in ounces and newtons and pounds and grams, whatever, whatever you want. And then you get the AMA. Then just take those two numbers, divide them and times it by 100. And that's all there is to it.